Sa Winnipeg, dila hindi patapos ang kontrobersya ng Philippine Canadian Center of Manitoba, kaugnay sa naantalang pagpapadala ng mga typhoon donations sa Pilipinas. No-show ang mga miyembro ng organisasyon sa malaking pagtitipon ng komunidad kamakailan. Real Cantara tells us more. It was a meeting meant to rebuild trust and clarify issues after the controversy at the Philippine Canadian Center of Manitoba on the delayed donations for Typhoon Haiyan victims in the Philippines. But while more than 100 Kababayans in Winnipeg attended the Philcom's town hall meeting, none of them were officers of the PCCM. Again, we invited the PCM board of directors here. Uh, one, either they're all too busy, or number two, uh, they just choose not to communicate or they don't know how to communicate. And that's what this forum was all about, is voicing your concerns, communicating with everybody. It's, it's all, all against them. Eh. It's, no, it's not. We're just looking for clarifications for matters. Yun lang naman eh. Kung masasagot di, di ba, di sana tapos na. We need reforms or if they want to help, they should approach us. The controversy affecting the Philippine Canadian Center of Manitoba has been the most challenging to date in the local community scene, not only drawing negative publicity for the Filipino community, but also resulting to concerns and split reactions from Kababayans. Various community leaders initiated the town hall meeting, said to be the first in Winnipeg's Filipino community. I think and do, um, uh, they want to create a place uh, like the PCCM uh, with one voice, one unified voice to move forward and move things that reflect the youth, the seniors, the various cultural organizations. We should all be united even though we are of different associations but still we can hear each other out and we can work towards the solution of whatever problems there are in the community. PCCM for its part issued a statement confirming the final amount of 60,696.53 was wired to Philippine Red Cross against reports of more than $72,000. After two checks were pulled out, plus the cost for shipping and bank charges. The main reason is we, we will just be facing confrontation if we were there. And for them to really come up with a town hall meeting right after they've been critical about what happened, is not really a good timing. If they want to really have a dialogue, let's do it some other time. Despite the controversy, many from the 65,000 strong Filipino community in Winnipeg are still hopeful that issues will be settled, confidence and peace will be restored for unity in the near future. Ria Alcantara, ABS-CBN News, Winnipeg.